I did say it. Yeah, you just nobody it. else looking. How you look, Taylor? Good. All right, built motor coming out and going back to stock. More like a ball. I'm gonna look like a baller on YouTube with less. That's what happens. You fill a cell fuel system and a blower and an engine. Where do we begin? Man, it's been some time. I think about a month since our last video and we have so much to talk about. You guys saw the intro, you saw the beginning, you saw that built motor coming out and the stock motor going back in. Now, I've got to say this, a car has been ordered and bought. I'm, I'm very excited to reveal it in the next video. So this is going to be a little bit of talking head. Um, our 2019 Ford Mustang GT, Odin supercharged, you know, built motor, all of that good stuff. The thousand horsepower car that we had is gone. It is gone. It is sold. I did not do a final drive in it. I'll get into that a little bit, I think, in the next video, why everything was so fast. But if you follow me on social media, then you've been seeing the car getting ripped apart. That's what we've been doing over the past month. We've been very, very busy. That's why there's been no content. And I've been asked so many times in the past few weeks, Alex, where's the videos? Where's the videos? Where's the videos? And I've been just responding to everybody, hey, they're coming. Um, there's just a lot of things going on right now. So why did we get rid of the Mustang? Well, you know, as we, we pushed that car to the limit, you know, it's been, it's been in a couple of accidents, not at fault, you know, so the Carfax definitely took a hit a little bit, but not actually that much. The market right now for these used cars is absolutely ridiculously crazy. And, you know, with all the, the finances and everything, the, the world changing right now, um, I, I had to t take a, I took a step back and I took a hard look at the future of not necessarily the YouTube channel, but more so a, a hard look at like my future, my family's future. And yes, we're not giving up on cars. No, this channel is not going away. Uh, none of those things are happening. It's just been a crazy past four weeks. I cannot believe so much time has gone by, but man, when I, I tell you this, let's, let's back up just a little bit. I'll give you a little bit of snippet of what you're going to, I'm going to cover this again in the next video. When we do the reveal of the new car, it is here. It is in the driveway and it is absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. I, I cannot wait to show you what it is. And I think that you're all going to absolutely love it. You know, the next progression is maybe a GT500. There's some other cars out there that are, I, I can't, I could not see myself stripping down a thousand horsepower car that we finally got back together. And I feel so bad that, you know, all of this just kind of happened. We didn't even get to dyno it. We didn't get to see the quad digit numbers with the Odin build and the 5.2 motor swap and all of those things that we put into the car. We did not get to see the final outcome of what the, the final potential uh, of what that car was going to do. We didn't even get to go to the track. There are reasons that I stopped and did not do those things. A little bit because we started to develop a little bit of transmission slip um, after my last video that I put out like four weeks ago under boost. So, you know, I, I didn't get any valve body codes, nothing like that, but I saw the early stages of transmission slip under boost with the 10 r rated. Yes, it was a built trans. Yes, we could have put a turbo 400 in the car, but I did not want to sacrifice uh, the street ability that the 10 already has. And I wanted the power and I really wanted the car to hold together. And it was it just, and when I say transmission slip, I mean, I'm talking about a little bit, but I've done this three times already. And when it started to happen, I called wife on the phone. I said, I'm absolutely done. The car is getting stripped and going back to stock. I'm either going to find a, uh, I'm going to private sell it, which we did list a car for sale for 65. Also, we got to remember, and a lot of you guys don't know this, but I'll be completely transparent. When I bought that car, 
Uh, I was not in the best credit situation. Back in 2019, YouTube was fully taking care of everything. I was making a lot of money off of YouTube. Well, things have died down a little bit. Um, and that's kind of true for everybody. Even the big, big channels that I've had conversations with, YouTube is kind of dying. So we have to cut back a little bit, but I didn't want to get out of a car that with all of that power and go into something not fun, if that makes any sense. So there are several cars that would fill my passion, my automotive, you know, passion for speed and performance. Go ahead and list uh, what you think this next car is going to be. Go ahead and list it down. It's in the driveway. It is already here. It's not a C8 Z06. We're not waiting for something. It's already bought. It's already financed. My uh, payments actually went down. I took a lot of the money from the modifications since we stripped it down and parted it out and used it as a down payment for what's in the driveway. And uh, I think it was a very smart move. It is a very, very powerful, capable car. And I think that when you guys see it in the next video, you're going to be fired up. So what will the next vehicle be? Leave your guesses down in the comments below. But again, I do want to say that I, uh, I very much apologize that, uh, you know, we did not get to finish what we started. But, you know, truth be told, the direction of the build was heading in the direction that I didn't necessarily want to go. I wanted the big power, but I wanted to be able to have my cake and eat it too. And with the 10 already problems continuing to plague us, I could not move forward um, because it would have, the car when it went down again, another three or $4,000 went into a fourth transmission. If it were stock or moderate power, yes, this would not have necessarily been an issue. But like I said, I want to be able to have my cake and eat it too. So I had to identify a vehicle to purchase that would uh, live up to the expect expectations and the wants and desires that I have deep within. So there are several, like I said, to choose from. One has been financed. It's bought. It's it's amazing. I absolutely I get in the car and it's it's just I cannot wait to show you what it is. And I know this is just a talking head video, me explaining, but um, you know, I feel also bad that we didn't do a final drive in the car when we put it back to stock. I mean, I put it all the way back to stock. We traded, uh, we traded the motor plus cash. We sold the blower, uh, which had basically no miles on it. Um, some of the suspension was still left on the car when I traded it in. Um, all the stock interior pieces went back in the car. The fuel system was sold. I mean, we gutted that thing back to stock and then traded it in. And that leaves us to something that was also very important for right now. And that is the used car market. You guys are very familiar with what's going on in the world. So we don't need to beat a dead horse. But, you know, interesting that, um, uh, you know, they gave me as much as they did. I mean, according to the car market, it is what it is and it is worth what it was. And I was very, very happy with what uh, the dealership gave me as far as trade in value, uh, more than more than covered, uh, you know, what I owed on the loan. So we walked into the next vehicle with a bunch of money down and positive equity, a lot of it. And, uh, you know, again, my payments went down and, um, you know, so we're in much better shape financially moving forward in this crazy world as things get more expensive. And I have a car that is going to satisfy every want, need and desire inside of my heart on a daily basis. Um, it's kind of a match made in heaven. Anyway, that's kind of, that's kind of it. You know, it is, it's sad. It's, there's so many memories that we had in the Red Queen, the 2019 Mustang. Um, those of you that follow this channel religiously know all about the car. You know, you've seen it torn apart over and over and over. And us try to, me try to achieve these goals, these dreams, these passions, these wants and desires out of this car. And every time that we would get, you know, we would be on the uphill climb and then we get to the top of the mountain and we're like, yes, we're done. We have victory, right? Something would happen. And, um, you know, it's just like I could not... It just, things just were never working out. And I defended the car for three years. I owned that car for three years and I defended it for three freaking years. And it, it does get to the point where you just get tired of throwing money at something. You never come out on top. So I, I threw in the towel. I, I want you to understand that what's coming next in the next video is absolutely insane. 
it's 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 a match made in heaven almost it's it's the stars aligned and i was able to pull off something that i did not think that i would ever be able to do it, it's a fun, it's a freaking awesome car like it's i'm so giddy i just got off of the road we just had a, a two-hour road trip in it and it's it's amazing it's amazing how how fast and capable and uh Yes, I'm so excited. It's a big, it's a big step uh, in a new direction. It is a, a, a slightly different direction than what we're used to seeing on the channel. And I think, you know, because this, we do a lot of drag racing stuff, this car will do everything. This car will drag race and it will road race. I never got this feeling that I have right now uh, in the, the Mustang. Yes, I, I loved going fast in it with all of that power, even about, you know, 400 horsepower, it was completely unusable. Uh, on a public street, um, you know, but that is what we built. I want to say this now, and I'll say this again too. It's going to actually put us in a great position to, um, because we're saving money, to maybe buy a chassis of some kind. So maybe like an SN or a New Edge or maybe an S197. I would like to find a roller at some point and then do the cage and all of that and then eventually do the motor and build from the absolute ground up and make a dedicated drag car something that i don't owe money on and i'm not paying the bank i think will happen at some point and now we're going to have a little bit more financial freedom to do so and um you know instead of a, a bank loaned car basically so i know we've been going at it for about 13 minutes and hopefully you guys are still with me in this video but to understand that uh this is, uh, it's going to be an interesting change of pace and I'm excited, uh, to, to share, you know, this passion, this journey with you. I cannot wait to show you the, the new car. I think that you're going to absolutely fall in love with it. I am head over heels in love with this car. I know we're still, I'm still in the honeymoon phase with the car, but I'm, I'm just in love, in love with the car and I'm, I'm dropping hints. So hopefully you guys will be able to put your, your thoughts in the comments. Like, what do we have coming? Because if you know me and you've been watching me for multiple years on YouTube, then you know that we cannot buy something slow or that doesn't handle well. So if we built that car, that Mustang to be what it was, if it was going to get replaced, it's going to have to be something better. But like I said, the stars aligned and it, it just happened. This car popped up right down the road at a dealership. I, I, I can't give you any hints. I can't give you any hints. You're just going to have to stick around. I know this is a boring video, like I said, but uh, get ready for the next one. I think you're going to really enjoy it. But yes, the, the, the 2019 Ford Mustang, the Red Queen, is officially retired. And we are on to something better. So, um, yeah, <laughs> drop your comments down below. What do we get? Leave it down below what you think it is. I wanted the power, but, um, you know, the, the 10 r ratings just don't like it for whatever reason. Even when you build them, unless you're doing one of these five, $6,000 10 r builds, or you sink a turbo 400 into the bottom of the car, and uh, then you're sacrificing, you know, streetability. And uh, as a daily driving, a uh, daily driver car, uh, I did not want to do that. So anyway, we've been talking about this for, you know, 14 to 16 minutes, somewhere in this ballpark. I'm going to end the video. Maybe I'll make more videos like this, uh, just talking about like the, the decision making process behind this whole thing. But I just wanted to give you an update on what's going on with the channel, what's going on with uh, the cars. And, um, yeah, we'll go from there. So get ready for the next video. I promise it'll be really entertaining and exciting. And I think that you are going to be very surprised what we got. And I think that you're going to be very happy. But again, I'll see you guys in the next video. Leave a comment down below. What did we buy? Best guesses down below. I'll see you guys next video. God bless you all. I'll see you next time. Bye.